my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and I'm all dressed up for you today to share my touch-up essentials for a night out. I have a two-year-old so a night out doesn't happen very often for me and when it does I always want to make sure that I look my best so that I can have the best time. One of the most important things when you're choosing these items is to make sure that you're not taking up too much space. I don't know about you, but I don't like to take a big bag when I go out, especially if I'm going to be dancing and, you know, walking around, bar hopping, whatever people do who actually get to go out and have fun. I love this little bag from Papaya. I just think it's the perfect size. It's plastic so it wipes clean and it's really slim. You can see like if you compare it to my iPhone. It's like the same size as an iPhone. So it doesn't take up too much space in your purse and everything I need to touch up fits in here. If you have a monthly subscription service like Ipsy or Lip Monthly or something like that, those bags can be really useful for this too, but this is just my favorite one. If I can find it online, I'll link it for you in the description box. Okay, let's see what's inside. You won't believe how much stuff actually fits in here. First things first, when I'm planning to go out, I really like to try to select a lip color that comes in like a mini or a deluxe size, like a sample size. I just find that this is so easy to slip into my bag and easy to touch up. I have Lovelorn from Kat Von D right here. This is what I'm wearing today. I just think this is such a smart choice. This is absolutely essential to how I pack my purse. I really don't want a big clunky lipstick. So I love choosing a mini sample size lipstick and it fits really nicely in my bag. Next essential for me is a mascara. It's so easy to find these little travel size mascaras. I usually always choose the Benefit Bad Gal Mascara just because this one is not a very liquidy mascara so I find that it layers nicely and my lashes look nice and full and fluttery even when I touch up I don't get spidery. Let's talk about a couple non-makeup essentials that I always keep in my bag. First is a spare hair tie and at least one bobby pin. I usually have two or three bobby pins. They don't take up much space and they can really help fix a hair disaster in a pinch. I also like to bring a couple of band-aids just in case my shoes start hurting my feet. I don't know if everybody else has this problem, but I don't really wear heels or like fancy shoes a lot. So when I do go out and I do throw on some really pretty fancy sexy shoes, they usually end up killing my feet and band-aids are essential to save them. The last non-makeup item that I like to include in my bag is Q-tips. And I know this might seem a little bit weird, but just hear me out on this. If you're out on the town, if you're dancing and you're sweating, I always have some sort of like mascara smudge, eyebrow smudge, my eyeliner might start like leaking out of my waterline. And you can't always count on there being toilet paper in the bathrooms. Especially if you're going to some like really good dive bars, you know what I mean? There's never toilet paper in there. And if there is, it's usually that awful one ply like cardboard feeling stuff. I just think that Q-tips are such a great thing to keep in your touch up bag so you can kind of wipe away the smudge without ruining all your makeup and without completely regretting the lack of toilet paper. Although you usually end up missing it at some point especially if you have enough drinks, but Q-tips can at least save your mascara and your eyeliner. Now, if you have really oily skin, then a blotting sheet is something that you're definitely gonna want to include in your touch-up bag. I really don't have a problem with oily skin, but I do like to have the option to, you know, set down any oily spots, if I'm sweating, you know, you're having a good time, you might be in really close quarters. So I do like to bring a little brush and a little powder. This little brush is so stinking cute. It's from Too Faced, it's called the Petite Poof. And one thing I really like about it is it has this cover and it's retractable, so it's like a mini kabuki brush. It opens like this and you have this nice kind of soft kabuki brush here. I absolutely love this for 
touching up any spots where I'm getting greasy or you know, if you just need a little blend, sometimes you just need a little blend. This little brush is perfect. I don't know if I'll be able to find it anywhere online, but if I can, I will for sure link it for you. I find that that brush works perfectly with this little perfecting veil from Bare Minerals. This is the perfect thing to touch up. It doesn't look too cakey. Mine actually is kind of broken right now because it always lives in my bag, so I do need to repress this but this is such a clutch little thing to have. If you can find a mini powder, throw it in your bag, girl, because you need it to touch up. Another sort of duo that I like to carry is my mini Urban Decay Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. I love this. This is so, so useful. If you're wearing a dark lipstick, you can use this to kind of touch up around your lip line and then you can use a little concealer brush to really perfect that line and make it nice and crisp. Or if you have a stray eyeliner smudge or even if you're like waiting outside in the cold and you have to blow your nose, this happens to me all the time. I don't know if I'm alone in this, but if I have to blow my nose and then I feel like my makeup is just gone from my nose. I can just dab a little concealer on here and pat it out and it really evens out my makeup. This is just essential. Maybe this seems super crazy to you, but trust me, just try it. You will love having these in your bag when you need to touch up. The very last thing that I carry in my bag is this itty bitty little Tarte Marine Boosting Mist. This is perfect for refreshing your makeup if you feel like you're starting to get cakey or perhaps if you had to touch up your powder and you feel like it's just not really settling down on your face. This spray is so perfect. I love this. I'm sorry my bottle's so dirty, but again, these are things that really live in my purse and that I use all the time when I'm touching up. So that's everything I take with me when I need to touch up on a night out. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any touch up essentials that I didn't mention, please leave them in the comments so that we can check out what you take with you when you're on a night out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm. That definitely didn't make sense. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm try again. Whatever am I gonna call this video? I don't even know. What it what am what? Hmm? No. Okay, try one more time. You got this. You got this. <sighs> I mean, do what you will with that. <laughs>